Welcome and hello to our HDS how to video how to borrow a license. For this training movie you will need the client license management system as well as a client with an installation of Cyclone or Cloudworks. What is CLM? The client license management system CLM is a tool to serve and administer licenses in a network or on a single PC. It provides advanced functionality to activate, borrow and manage licenses. Why borrow? In a local network, one shares floating licenses over a server. If a computer needs to be disconnected from the network, for example to execute field work, it can borrow licenses from the license server. These licenses will then be checked out from the server for a dedicated period of time. Borrowing is possible through Cyclone as well as the CLM admin tool. We will concentrate on the workflow using the CLM for node-locked licenses, as this provides a longer borrow time and can be used both for Cyclone as well as Cloudworks licenses. In the next steps, we will go through the procedure of borrowing a Cyclone Register license. How to borrow? Open the CLM for node locked licenses under Start, All Programs, Leica Geo Systems, Client License Manager. Ensure to select the CLM for node locked licenses. Go to Options. The URL fields must not be changed as they point to the central Leica license server. If a proxy server is used in the local network, enter the proxy credentials here. Activate the checkbox Borrow Licenses. Enter the host name from where you want to borrow. Then define the number of days you want to borrow for. The maximum duration possible is 90 days. For time-limited licenses, Keep in mind that the period for borrowing must not be longer than the remaining days until license expiry. Then press apply to save changes. Note that now a new entry, borrowing from, appears on the left hand navigation bar. Click on the server name under it to show the EIDs that are available for borrowing. You can open the tree structure by clicking on the triangle to inspect the contained features. Check the top level checkbox of the EID that you want to borrow, in this case one register license. Click Borrow to start the process. Once done, verify under View Installed Licenses that the borrowed license is now listed here as well. Opening the CLM for floating licenses on the license server, the administrator can maintain an overview over the license usage. The View Licenses in Use section states which licenses are used and by which user. You can see that one register license is in use with the status Borrowed. Press Refresh to update the view if necessary. The second register license can still be used either within the network or by being borrowed as well. Using a borrowed license. Now we switch back to the borrowing client. The client PC can at this point be disconnected from the network as the borrowed features are now stored in the local CLM for node locked licenses. For Cloudworks, the borrowed license is automatically used upon startup of the application. For Cyclone, one extra step is required to specify the licenses to be used. Start Cyclone and open the Cyclone License Manager under Help License Manager. Note that the register license is listed as borrowed. You can also see the remaining days of the borrow period. Place the check mark under Get for Cyclone Register. Then confirm with OK. At the bottom of the Cyclone Navigator window, the borrowed and used modules are listed. Returning a borrowed license. When finished using the licenses offline, they need to be returned to the floating license server where they were borrowed from. If borrowed licenses are not actively returned, 
they will return automatically at the end of the specified borrowing period. To return a borrowed license, connect the PC to the network of the license server. Take care that all client software is shut down. Now open the CLM for node locked licenses. Verify in the options section that the license server entered is the one where the license was borrowed from originally. Go to the View Installed Licenses tab and checkmark the EID to be returned. Click Return Borrowed Licenses and Continue. The license will now be returned. Once finished, reselecting View Licenses Installed will show that this license is no longer present on the client PC. The Now Return software features can be used concurrently on the floating license server again. This concludes our tutorial on how to borrow HDS licenses. For more information on HDS licensing, check out our other CLM-related videos. How to set up a floating license server and how to check out a floating license.